First off, thanks for a thousand subscribers. I'm working on my video making process, so hopefully I'll have some more cool stuff coming out soon. So recently I hosted a $500 Global Illumination Challenge for Game Maker. Global Illumination is a technique used to generate more realistic lighting. Traditionally games would use one light source with a blanket black or gray color for the shadows. But in real life we see light bouncing off of multiple objects bringing color with it. Here you can see yellow light bouncing off the wall and shining on track. This is another example that shows just how much of a difference it makes. On the left is no bounce, in the middle is one bounce, and on the right is multiple bounces. So this challenge had two main rules. The project had to be made in Game Maker, and the source code had to be released publicly. In my mind, Global Illumination is one of the last great frontiers in Game Maker graphics. And while I have done similar things myself, I really wanted a public resource that the community could use and learn from. So here are the results. This first one is a 2D ray marching system by Retro Patet. Just look at how smooth the lighting and shading is. So basically it takes a sprite like this and generates a sine distance field texture so that it can ray march light rays quickly and accurately. Here's a little scene I put together that shows that it works with any colors and any shapes. Let's take a quick look at the surfaces it uses. We have some for color, some for bounce lighting, and then here's the distance field texture. So it's pitch black where the scene objects are, and it gets brighter as it moves more pixels away. I thought it was neat to see a 2D implementation, so thanks again to Retro Patet for sharing your work. I'll leave a link to the source code in the video description. And finally, we have Patrick Craft's solution. From first impressions, you can already tell this has amazing presentation. The user interface here is a really nice touch. Don't mind me while I play with the settings for a little bit here. Even when I max out the settings, this thing runs really well. I'm seriously impressed. Now look closely in the shadows here. You can actually see light is bouncing from the sunlight into the shadows. This subtle detail can add so much to the feel of your game. Because this is a screen space effect, it can only reflect light that's visible on screen. So while this method has some drawbacks, it also is preserving its quality for only things that are visible on screen. There's even an option for displaying the surfaces that this shader uses. Here's albedo, depth, normals, light pass, SSAO, and indirect lighting. You can see the sunlight bouncing into the corners. And here you can even see the green curtains reflect green and the red curtains reflect red. This system also supports emissive light objects. There's no hard limit to the number of light sources you can have. However, because it's a screen space effect, they have to be visible on screen in order to work. The source code is very well written, and there are a bunch of comments to explain how everything works. I simply could not ask for a better example. Good job, Patrick, you blew it out of the park. This source code is publicly available on GitHub, and while you're there, make sure to follow Patrick. Maybe follow him on Twitter too while you're at it. If you'd like to see more challenges like this, like the video and consider subscribing to my coffee page. It wouldn't be smart for me to run these at a loss, but if enough people subscribe, maybe we could do these regularly. It's great for developers because they get recognition and money for their work, and it's good for the whole community because you can get excellent resources out of it. I intend to do more of these challenges one way or another, so stay tuned and thanks for watching.